Hello Internet, I am John. Welcome back to Let's Play Stellaris 3.11 Determined Exterminators. Um, the beta for 3.11.3 .3 came out um, uh, this morning maybe, and I haven't switched over to it yet. Uh, there were a couple of bug fixes in there that seemed like they might be a little bit interesting for this run, so I might switch over to it at some point. And the ones that seemed interesting were um, there's a bu fix for a bug where Gestalts sometimes would lose one of their council nodes when they added their third civic, but um, that isn't a problem that we have had. Uh, and then there was a bug fix related to refugees, which I didn't really, the, the patch notes were quite terse about, so I'm not really clear what the bug was or um, what exactly changed there, but we're probably generating lots of refugees, uh, and I, you know, I don't, but I don't know. So um, I think we're just going to live with it for now, and, uh, you know, if, if it turns out that some of those changes are interesting, maybe we'll switch over later in the run. Um, what else? Uh, so, so the situation, right? We are we, we picked up our, our labs pace last time a little bit um, at a faster rate than we gained empire size, uh, but now we're in a bit of a, a little bit of an energy hole. Um, we have uh, advanced energy nexuses next uh, next I, um, coming soon, right? Thirteen months times two hundred energy is twenty six hundred energy, so we can definitely soak that, right? And then it'll take some time to build, but, uh, you know, a year, so another 12 months. But yeah, we, we can live with that kind of delay. We also have orbital rings coming soon. And these two things go great together, right? Because then we can get the ionization elements plus the energy nexus. Um, so part of what I want to get done soon is building orbital rings over my energy worlds uh, so that they're ready or, or so that, well, I mean, they're not going to be ready. Right, by the time this finishes. It takes a, quite a while to build an orbital ring, and then we need to upgrade it before we can use the, the building slots on it. Um, but we're moving in that direction, start getting that process rolling. Uh, and we certainly have the alloys and the influence to be building orbital rings. Um, the more irritating problem is that our empire is huge and our construction ships are all the way over here. But um, we, can, we can start moving in that direction, which I'll be wanting to do. This one's like the easiest first one, I think. And the most important. So we'll get him in orbit there and just have him headed that uh, two, two years to get there even. Uh, there's the shipyard here. We could just build one there. That'd be quick too. Anyway, um, so that's kind of the main thing I'm thinking about here is scaling up energy production so I can continue to scale up labs. Um, I also want to abandon a couple planets out here, I think. We were going to abandon Mirov. And we have already pulled all of our robots off, so this will, will be abandoned in, like, three months. Uh, and then... This one I guess we'll keep, right? Because it has it has some, some decent tech stuff. Um, alloy foundries, no. We'll replace with... Uh... Let's research labs that we can leave. Um, we'll build a assembly plant. Oh, we already have one. Okay, um, so we'll, uh, yeah, but uh, so this purge is also almost done. Um, we still have a little bit going on here. This one, I mean, it has some tech. We can certainly spend the influence to abandon planets later if we want to. And then um, he's bombarding. He's in motion here. We're gonna move the transports up there next, so we can just move them forward. Oh, but there's the amoebas. Let's let's take care of those. I'm tired of these amoebas. Um, and then this bombardment is also almost over, I think. Yeah, one pops. We'll move him soon. Down here we have this guy, and we could we could be bombarding here, I suppose, or we could be pivoting back this way. I um. I'm not sure which war I want to fight next. Whether I want to go fight the Klagians, who are a, no longer pathetic relative to us, or uh, the Favarians, and I think the Favarians aren't either. Okay, they are still. Um, so maybe the 
I mean, but these are not the best. Who, uh... Okay, they lost it. We outgrew them again. Like, they're, so they're borderline for being able to rival us. Number of planets. Yeah, the Favarians have the most. Um, I, I So maybe they are the, the priority next target for us. Uh, first, though, I think I do want to just destroy both of these empires in order to end the Federation and remove that as a... Uh, a mechanism for for building up multi-empire wars um a coordination mechanism i guess uh so we we are maybe we'll just use you to to bombard this planet i know it has a lot of pops i know we could go like seize it and purge them but um oh yeah look at i bet this is this is probably refugees where they they've received refugees and now their planets are too full and they can't build jobs and stuff fast enough um, but yeah, out here I want to be taking, I, I don't even really care if I lose the systems, if I just take out all the planets and uh, their empire goes away. That's an interesting point, that if we blow up this one, these systems will be lost. Maybe we do go grab, it's an odd hole. Um, yeah, let's start with that, I guess. I don't know if they're any good, we'll see. Um... And then I also should be upgrading these at some point. I don't know if, like, our most recent Corvettes here have the upgraded sensor package. But that would be nice. Okay, they do. So. I'm just like, weird whole, you know, is it, maybe it's nothing? Maybe it's Leviathans. Who knows? And I don't know if, is this one, this one isn't in the nebula, so maybe you'll be able to see. But, uh, um, what else? He's in motion to go there. What are other scientists doing? You're doing... That. Okay. Science ship automation anomalies, right? Okay, that's fine. Um, here, I'm thinking maybe I do want to shift these to energy. And then we can find some pops over here to scale into allies or res resettle some pops doing alloys over here um, to to there um, I kind of like that idea oh. I mean, I guess we need to actually build the districts here first. And that was here. Actually, he's he's in a good spot to come come down here, rather than sending. Is this is this actually just un unclaimed? I guess so. Yeah. And then you, we can have um, bombard. Construction complete. Okay, there's our abandoned gateway. Um So now yeah, let's let's I think uh what like can I I so this is as far as I can route to for now. Technological acquisition successful. Rings. I do actually want planetary build speed. And the reason I want planetary build speed is... Oh, Empire Slice from Disc 30% is pretty good too. But we'll grab Empire Build Speed first. Um, it has a follow-up tech to it that also has an Empire Slice from Districts reduction, which would be really nice for us. And then I think we might pick up Domination next. Um, and that also has... Oh, this is quite quite soon. Hostile fleet assets engaged. Okay, that clears out our amoebas. And now we can come back up here. There. Right, so we're going to finish synthetics. Um, my thoughts here, I either want to become the crisis, or I want to hold the slot open for machine worlds. And 
Become the Crisis at this point would mostly be a quality of life pick to give me the uh, war goal that just lets me destroy outposts. Um, and the extra bombardment speed, right? I don't even necessarily want to like run up the uh, additional, like the menace levels. Um, I just want to like not have to deal with taking more territory and getting more empire size. Um, but we can we can see. I saw. So I, I was count. Oh dear. Okay. That's all fine. Um, I was counting my tier three society techs, and I think. I think I think this will be five. Um, I think it's one, two, three, uh, four, five. Um, so then we just need one more, and then climate restoration can can get in the pool. So I think that's what we'll what we'll do for now. Hostile fleet assets engaged. What is our gas production? Not as high as I would like. You're still building gas. Claggians entering the association? Yeah, no. We gotta end this fit. Planetary alert. Blocker expunged. Hostile fleet assets engage. Hostile stationary asset engage. This one had like five, 800 armies. Oh, that's a really low stability too. Again, lots of overpopulation from refugees. We can do a little bombardment, soften up a little bit, and then, then land. Full on alloys. Um, how's our construction ship situation? Yeah, let's just start the ring here. And then uh, you can push on to the gas. Hostile fleet assets engaged. Oh, everybody's everybody's associating. Hostile stationary asset engaged. Archaeology stuff. Technological acquisition successful. Arrive over from the Claggains again. Um, plasma thrusters would be okay. Yeah, I like plasma thrusters. Fabricator output also never bad, but uh, plasma thrusters, you know, getting across our empire would be kind of nice. Technological acquisition successful. Okay, there's the energy grids, so we will build some of those immediately. Um, None of this stuff is great. Combat rolls will be fine, I guess. Um, we'll want fire control eventually, but yeah, we can do combat rolls. So down 100 empire size, we're at 2.3. Yeah, so we're, we have like three to one now. It'll be a little expensive, but we'll live. Hostile fleet assets engage. Hostile stationary asset engage. Repair stuff. Um. So that's that's a tier three, that would push us towards climate restoration. I think, but I mean, regenerate whole tissue is also thirteen thousand base, ten thousand base. We we could do whole tissue, and it's already part halfway done. Um, okay, well we'll see if that actually counts. Maybe it's not a hole. Hmm. Can I see it? Do I get to see it? I don't. Uh, that makes me nervous. New contact. Another hive. This is what, like three hives? I guess this was a hole. It's weird though. Hostile fleet assets engage. Hmm. 
Ground invasion units have achieved all objectives. Oh, but you have more xenophobic. I can't imagine why. Oh, this is unstable tectonics. Maybe we do hold on to this one a little while. 47% crime. We could shift a guy off of amenities to... to oh. I've never used that button before. Um... Come on. It should put us below the, the crime threshold. Um, I guess this is... Yeah, out, back out this way. We could spend time grabbing all this stuff, but is it worth it? Watch the Prethoran will spawn over here somewhere, but... Um, yeah, there. Council agenda ready. So that we've gone through half their pops. Alert. Non standard space entity encountered. Hostile stationary asset engaged. Oh, right. We needed to build the energy goods. That's important. Um, we definitely wanted one here. That's the most important one. And they are... F okay, interesting. The, the wiki was saying they have three gas upkeep, but it's only one. So, um... I, I was like, maybe I don't want to just build all of them, but I think I do. If they're actually three gas upkeep each, but if they're not, then... Construction complete. Oh, um... Okay. Oh, no. That's interesting. Gaia. Hostile stationary asset engaged. Hostile fleet assets engage. Okay, maybe we do come back here for upgrades now. It's gonna be a little while on plasma. Oh no, that's that's two two significant upgrades. Hmm. Or out this way. Yeah, they have a couple planets out here. We need to come out this way and take care of them. Hostile fleet assets engage. Construction complete. Okay, there's the end of the Runeef. I mean, they're right here. We can do we can do a, or a little a little early upgrade. One, one thing I'm curious about is I, I haven't been knocking out empires uh, and part of my reasoning there is that if you knock them out it lowers like the denominator 
for uh, when somebody has met 70% of other empires uh, in order to establish a galactic community. Um, and you can't get Crisis Ward if there's no galactic community. So keeping more empires around but weak and isolated has been my strategy, but I, I, uh, I really don't want this federation forming either. Sorry. Oh, well, that was repairs, not upgrades. Technological acquisition successful. Construction complete. There's whole tissue. There's climate restoration. Wow, that never happened. I mean, what are the other options? I should look. But, I mean, yeah, it's going to be climate restoration, so. Okay, um, I mean, do we really need machine worlds? Ship I don't know. Completed. 19k, that's a big upgrade. Over, like, 14, 15k? What? What changed? I didn't... What, what did we just complete? Plasma thrusters. Oh, okay. Um... I don't love any of these. Uh, nebula refiners be okay. Mechanical pop assembly speed, I mean like, eh, you know. Um, we, I, I'm okay with this too though. That's, I mean, we got a lot of empire size, man. That's 30, so that's uh, like a five, 15, no, uh, a 6% reduction in tech cost, six percentage points. Um, Um, I don't know if this links towards their capital. We don't have a route. I... I bet it's this. Yeah, because I don't see a way to get here either. Orbital ring? Um... How long does that take? That's like two years. And then we wanted one over the home world. And our other construction ship here that we built. We wanted one over, I think it was Falmir. Council agenda ready. Yeah, okay, so all of the advanced energy grids came online, and now our energy problems are almost solved. Inconceivable. This would be a good, like, backstory for Become Crisis 2. Um, and we, we did all this research on all these sonic dudes, and now we, we understand that, like, souls are real, and there's this, this outer, outer layer of reality to be breached. Okay, so that was here, and then Hostile there. Stationary and asset that. Engaged. Technological acquisition successful. Combat rolls. Uh, the next layer of research complexes would be okay. Not critical, but I mean, you know, it, it's high tier. It pushes us forward, and um, 800 empire size. Right, how how are we? Are we are we building any labs? Moving to... What? We decolonized Miravandia Prime. No! So... Oh. <laughs> I left the... I reset all the pops, but left the jobs open. And... Consequently, they moved here. 
when I wanted to abandon the planet. Um, so let's send these guys to Lane. Because they had some jobs open. Um, great. Pirates. Insults. Hmm. Ah, oh, they're at war with the they're they're subjugating. Hostile stationary asset engaged. Can't downgrade it yet. It takes a little time. Thirty-four pops. Twelve unemployment. Stability in the red zone where they could rebel. Hostile stationary asset engaged. Let's at least get them on top of. Uh, I think I have the. Um, Umbilicals here. No, I don't know. Some aliens somewhere. I'm not using all my envoys. Let's spy on these guys. Construction complete. Somebody hadn't. Oh, it must be rebels. Oh, okay, no, because our truce ended. So now they can close borders to us. Still working on that archaeology. Hostile stationary asset engaged. Oh, two planets. I'm already Tomb World. Three planets? What is this? A Trappist? No, that won't be quickest. Um, right, we have machine modification points. Um, what can we do? We, we could, uh, swap out, um, streamlined for, um, I, I usually like, uh, logic engines and efficient processors. And I have three points. Yeah, we could do efficient processors and then swap out streamlined for logic engines. This is a terrible way to name my species. And then, like, they'll get assembled, and maybe we'll simulate to them, but, yeah, we're not going to go, like, Hustle spend assets years and years of engineering research to um, make that happen. Hostile stationary asset engaged. Or to, to apply that to all of our pops. Construction complete. This one was the thirty, yeah. So where are where are people uh, migrating to? Do I have unemployment? Calimera. Um, I think Calimera was 
però. Uh, we have the, the infinite uh, maintenance drone acceptance problem. Vibrium. Where is Vibrium? I probably want another sector here, don't I? One, two, three, four. Um, yeah, this this one's fine. I hostile stationary asset engaged. What's here? Oh, this one has has the uh, tectonics. So we'll hold on to it at least for a little while. Keep that unity rolling in. We have one here. God, that's so little science for a whole world, right? That's what, like... 160. It's crazy how little science you get now. Hostile stationary asset engaged. standard space entity encountered. Hostile fleet assets engage. Hostile stationary asset engage. Hostile fleet assets engage. Technological acquisition successful. Okay, so it'll save us a little empire size and um, we could get the... I mean, we're, we're still okay on minerals. Um, I do like having this tech available, though. Hostile stationary asset engaged. Planetary pacification protocols initiated. Hostile stationary asset engaged.
Island invasion units have achieved all objectives. We got any building slots we can shove labs in? Here we still want pops for energy. Oh, and we picked up extra districts from um, the upgraded energy grid. Yeah, we're still, I bet we're still in food. Oh, we have? Hmm. Um, right, I, so I was thinking domination next. Let's just kind of sanity check that. Amenities usage. Empire size from pops. That one doesn't matter too much. Empire size from districts. Crime reduction, jar net put. Okay, so that's like, um, you know, five out of seven good, decent nodes. Um, the expansion, the, that Empire size from Systems and Planets is kind of tempting because we have a lot of them, both. Uh, accidents, Empire size from Pops. And that's a bigger bonus than Domination now. Um, restored node stuff. Stability. A little bit of crime reduction. Yeah, I think we will take this eventually. Versatility. I've been thinking about versatility's um, assembly bonuses, and I'm not convinced they're actually good. Um, so we get 10% pop assembly cost reduction. Okay. Uh, so that would reduce um, a, a replicator from using one alloy per month to like 0.9 alloys per month. And then we have this node here that is minus 5% upkeep from jobs, so we're down to like 0.85 alloys per month. But then it also increases the base pop assembly cost by one energy. So you're going from like 0.85, or you're going from one alloy per month, which is worth about five energy, to 0.85 times one alloy per month plus one energy per month. So it you're changing the cost of pop assembly, and you, I guess we get the plus 10% pop assembly speed, but that's, you know, you could get that from expansion, right? With some empire size reduction. Um, so the pop assembly stuff here, you know, it's plus 10%. And, and then the energy versus alloy cost is kind of a wash. Um, depending on how we, you value your energy relative to your alloys, right? Uh, if you're in a situation where you're alloy constrained but have lots of energy maybe that's good but we're mostly energy constrained and have lots of alloys so it's not uh it's not the best um that doesn't matter market fee would be okay upkeep from and that's upkeep from jobs across the entire empire which is nice um amenities usage maintenance during unity like we might still take it but the assembly bonuses aren't as good as i thought they were when i was first thinking about it um yeah, I think we'll do domination. It's it's more amenity savings. It's empire size from pops and from districts. What is our um? So we're at about eight hundred, and of that, three eighths is pops. Uh, two fifty is colonies, one sixty is systems, and then fifty is districts. So so districts, the district savings is not very large, from um, empire size from districts. So that's not worth a whole lot. But uh, the rest of this is okay. Hmm. And, and you know, and there's another kind of internal anti-synergy here too with versatility where you get unity for maintenance drones, but you reduce your amenities usage. So, um, yeah, you reduce your amenities usage. So you need fewer maintenance drones. So it's like it versatility is... The bonuses are working at cross purposes from each other, right? Where it's like, oh, you get savings but also we increase the cost of assembly. And it's like, oh, you get, um, you know, uh, amenity savings, but then you get a bonus to a thing that gives amenities. So like, I'm not happy with the versatili versatility changes. Uh, um, maybe, well, if, if domination isn't what we had hoped, 15% size from pops. I mean, this would be like 600, and we're at minus 30% already. Uh, what's 15% of 600? I can't math at this hour. I apologize. Uh, it's 
Expansion would certainly be an offbeat play. Systems and planets. So that would save us 40 on systems and like 60 on planets is about 100 empire size from that node. 15% um, of 600 is about 100, right? 15% is about a sixth. Uh, yeah, so, th so these... And it's going to be a little less than that. Um, Hmm. Habitat stuff, development speed, max districts, kind of plays nice with machine worlds, but yeah, I mean amenities and, and size from pops is still pretty good. Um, that's what like sixty empire size, and then the amenities free up a bunch of pops. And drone output, and deviancy, and... Okay. Is this, is this the last of the Zeroni stuff? Take the crystal, psionic archive. Um... Zero additives edict. How much zero do I have? Plus six per month, three K. Do I not get the I, I do, okay. So it would cost three per month. Um and give Oh, so that's huh. Probabilistic extended lifespan. Uh, and then what does it cost to activate the crystal? is 3,000 influence. Five months, that's not that much. And I think we can use this to just level up our our leader. Oh, and we, we have the um the secrets thing, which lets us get the, uh, the Stormcaster. Construction complete. Did we get the project? Yeah. Okay, that's pretty quick. Obviously, we're not doing it before climate restoration, though. Um, now we have an idle scientist. We can just have him do uh, archaeology stuff. Whoop, whoop, no, no, shoot. And now it's on cooldown. That's really annoying. You can't be like, oh, I misclicked. How's that bombardment coming? Okay, it's done. Um, go grab more planets, or hit more stuff then. You're here, hanging out. How many pops are here? 11. Um, this might end them, actually. Uh, not quite, we still have some down here. Hostile fleet assets engage. Planetary pacification protocols initiated. Okay, we still have some space here. Um, labs. We have plenty of gas somehow. That's surprising. Oh, I was going to turn off this shield generator, but I forgot. No cat. No helping. Look at all those energy districts. Glorious. Um, I 
Unemployment on a world with a science bonus is not what we want. I'm sure we can upgrade simulation sites. Yeah, I kind of wanted to like shift this alloy production over here. Oh, they're full already. Um, and then uh, I'm going to resettle the pops and stop doing it out there. But this one is also a tech world. Sorry, the cat's being very helpful. Um, hmm, that's weird that we still have the job there. Okay, so we, we still have some unfilled science jobs around. successful um research speed calculator upkeep or supercomputer which is plus five percent research speed with no upkeep tough choice ground invasion units have achieved all objectives Apologies for our blood. I wonder if that's like exterminator specific dialogue. Full on alloys again. How far are we from? like battleships, I guess. That's two, three, that's two, three. I think we hit, so we're at like four tier threes maybe? Because we have uh, star fortresses as well. Um, and then this is tier two. So we need a, a couple Hostile more. stationary asset engaged. Industrial production core. Why, hello. Um, maybe we can be friends. Where are you? That's Carabineers. Oh, here's that hive, the third hive, I guess. Um, Omni Architects, yeah. Interesting. 
<laughs> Maybe that diplomacy bonus and versatility is not so bad after all. Or we take actual diplomacy. Um, you know, we, we could solve all kinds of, like, Federation uh, distance penalty problems like I had last game. Hmm. Okay, so here... Right, so this this is the, the route to their successful. capital. Yeah, and actually, actually yeah, we can use to active reconnaissance there. Climate restoration. Um, the upgraded simulation sites. Yes. Uh, Falmir orbital ring. Right, so, um, do I do Machine Worlds? Do I activate the, um, I guess? Like, 10% resource output and an extra assembly thing is not bad. They're expensive. But I mean, and also it's not usable by normal species. So it's kind of cool. And we could activate the relic. Um, so I guess we will. Stability plus five. Huh. Yeah, so that's a, a more, you know, that's an extra 3% empire size reduction, um, or 3% empire size from pops reduction. Anything, is that, is that all he does? Is he doing anything else good? Edicts fund. Okay. Hmm. There's some research there that's good as well. Technological acquisition successful. Um, yeah, this would be really good. And th that plays with Orbital Rings nicely over uh, Forge Worlds. And it's tier 3. So that's everything we want. Did they did they actually close their borders? We're still cordial. Maybe they'll unclose them. Vassal! Oh, no, okay, they vassalized the hive. Ooh. A very interesting potential ally. Construction complete. Right, uh, Machine Worlds. Where do we need Machine Worlds? How much gas does it cost to maintain the, uh, like, gas, terraforming gases edict? Five? Yeah, we can swing that. Yeah, and like plus 10% all output is better than plus 10% just physics. Um, and it's a huge world, and we could, we could take all the building slots and build forges instead of using the city districts. Yeah, let's just start with some of the core sector, the ones I actually want to think about and develop. Oh, and uh, this one. Is 
that one's definitely that one. Um, and then we, we actually, actually activate the Edict. I don't want to spend the whole bank. Ooh. Where? In the mandate? They have a ruins coordination center? I don't want more territory. Okay, that removed the, the crime thing from uh, here, I think. So now we can shift our hunter seekers to something more useful. Like science. Um, this planet... I mean, it's fine. I don't... really feel compelled to hold it. 22 is you know, not bad, but... It's out of... Is it in the sector? It is in the sector! Um... Hostile fleet assets engage. <laughs> Auto cannons. I don't know if we have a guy close enough to that they could a scientist close enough to uh, get there, but we could. We might have a science ship close enough to get there, and then we could throw a scientist on it. How long would that take? Eight hundred days. How long would we have? Seven hundred. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna forget about it, but. Mm. This one's still going. Okay. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Hostile stationary asset engaged. Alert. Non-standard space entity encountered. Oh, void clouds. Well, at least we can guarantee ourselves void lightning. Stationary asset engaged. Technological acquisition successful. Supercomputers? Uh, yeah, I kind of want detection arrays. I don't know if the AI actually uses cloaking, but I have all these border star bases and then, like, nothing actually stopping anyone from coming in through them. Um, awkward. Hostile stationary asset engaged. Hostile fleet assets engaged. Um, how much army? How much army here? Zero. Yeah, we can we can bring the armies here. 
Um, as long as we don't pass a few meters, hopefully. We might get away with it. Construction complete. Hostile fleet assets engage. What do I even have to do here? Where is this? What is... Machine age? I don't care, man. If they if they become problematic, I will just kill them all. Sometimes simple solutions are the best. Hostile stationary asset I already have almost all the inside techs I want. I have plenty of other places I can get um, more insights. Ship augmentations completed. Technological acquisition successful. Um, we could actually use envoys now since we have a friend and we have more people to spy on. Or the cloaking. Starbase is that, that's that's expensive. I don't care about this. I'm just gonna terraform anything important. So, um, that's fine. Construction complete. This is over Falmir, which is kind of an energy world. Did this one upgrade? And then I didn't build the thing? Hostile fleet assets engage. Construction complete. Durasteel. Yep, Durasteel. And then we'll uh, we'll build. So we we just we work. We just got the one to do. Um, forges better. So we should build an orbital ring here if we haven't already. Planetary pacification protocols initiated. It's a lot of science. That's like Construction a complete. tier two text worth of science for each one. Okay, here comes Galcom. This is, actually isn't my fault, right? They, I haven't knocked them out of the game yet. Um, I mean, I, we did knock out the one, and well, the two, but. Um, Council agenda ready. I think we're we're about an hour. Um. I wonder how, how long would it take to knock these ones out? Seven pops, no armies. I mean, we could just land armies. It'll be real fast. It'll be the end of an era, the end of the Federation. So I, I get to, okay, so I get to. <laughs> Refuse membership due to violent and predatory nature. All right, um, but we can we, we get to see what they're doing. Um, there's some empires we haven't met yet. Somehow I've accumulated 6,000 food just from capturing other people's star bases. Um, this planet, I guarantee they have too many maintenance drones. 
Agri drones we certainly do not need. That's kind of okay. Technological acquisition successful. Detection. Um, this is what happens when you have the computer guy. Dimensional shrine? What? I've never heard of that before. I want a dimensional shrine. Planetary pacification protocol. There we go. Initiate. End of an era. End of a federation. I think. Who? You guys had association membership, right? Do you still? Um, no, it's gone now. Good. Uh, Who? Okay, the Evergreen. Um. So these guys are fighting. The Sathans ended up subjugated. Maybe. The Sathans ended up split. The Yalon. Um. I'm not seeing like defensive pacts or anything. I guess I don't have that much intel. Okay, I only get to see rivalries. I don't get to see like other pacts they have, I guess. Um, you guys I still have some more intel on, I think. Right, from the... Uh, it was only 40 points of active reconnaissance. Here I think we have 60 points of active reconnaissance, yeah. Occupied? What? Okay, so they, they started this offensive war to vassalize this hive here, and instead they have a bunch of their stuff occupied. Yeah, they're, so they're losing. So that's cool. By all means, continue as you were. Don't mind me. Um... I don't really want this planet. Not even a little bit. Wow, the shrimp get around. Hmm. Maybe I skip versatility and take expansion for the empire size. I don't know. Okay, so we were at like 1500 science and now we're at like 2100 science. Um, and we were at plus 120 empire size penalty and now we're at plus 140. So we gained 20 percentage points of empire size, but it's really only like 10% slowdown, and our tech output increased uh, from 1500 to 2100 is yeah like 50%. So good, good. And I mean we're seeing we're seeing reasonable times on tech completion now, right? This is a tier three, uh, I think, and it's 15 months. This is a tier four, and it's like 20, 30 months. So. Yeah, I think mean, we're in an okay spot. Our energy is, you know, it's a little dicey, but uh, we still have stuff coming online to boost energy output, right? But these these haven't finished yet, so when those come online, that's another point of base output times a bunch of dudes. Um, oh yeah, I should do the uh, the upgrades on the uh, simulation sites. Because, I mean, unity output is important, too. 
and they're good amenities. And and that's another thing is that I don't, you know, how much? Let's look at like a reasonably built up world here. Um, yeah, so this is pretty complete. I mean, mine. You know, we could clear one blocker and get two more districts in. And I have four maintenance drones uh, versus four coordinators. So I'm getting like, you know, slightly more than half of my amenities for maintenance drones. And then when I go up to six coordinators, that'll go down to like two or three maintenance drones. Um, so the maintenance drone amenity or maintenance drone unity stuff on versatility, I don't know how much I'll actually earn from that. I mean, if we got two, seven, 10, 14, 18, 24, 27, 28, 29, 32, 35, 37, 38, 39, 40, 42, 43, but you don't really need to be here. Um, 47, but again, like, stop. Um, 50. Uh -huh. Uh, 50. <laughs> Okay, maybe maybe a little more than that, but so yeah, like fifty maintenance drones is fifty unity per month is not that much. Um, I mean it's more than none, but it's not great, and we're gonna re reduce our amenities used further if we do versatility. Um. I mean, we already did from Domination, right? Yeah, so... Eh... I'm, I'm increasingly lukewarm on versatility. And I'm open to other options. Uh, okay, yeah, so uh, so good progress. We, we ended the Federation. Our, our tech is growing at pace. Um, a bunch of energy stuff is coming online. Uh, and then and then it's just kind of a question of, like, where do we... You, but then the one bad thing that happened in the Galactic Community Forum. Um, we conceivably made a friend... Does he care that we're purging? Well, maybe a little. I guess we, we can't vassalize him if he's an overlord. So that's a little annoying. Um, hmm. Uh... Yeah, I guess so. So what I think of next time, um, right? So the, the the question is like, what do we fleet up on? Uh, do we just upgrade all of our existing? That's yeah. We should just just lay those orders in right now. To to go upgrade. Where is Yakuri one? I don't know. Oh no! Don't 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 do that. Council agenda ready. You're not engaged in combat. It's just too soon. But I don't want to queue them to go upgrade somewhere tiny and horrible like this. As opposed to, um, yeah, okay, fine. Fine, I'll do it the hard way. That's reasonable, but I should clean up after the end of this war. Um, we probably want a Bastion here. Yeah, I don't think we have anything important past this Bastion, so that's good. Um, I don't know that we need this here either, and we should build some detection. 
I don't know how much you, re you really need when you're dealing with the AI. That's actually all the surface we have, right? We have the a couple wormholes, this entrance, that entrance, and this entrance. That's kind of remarkable for the amount of space that we have. Again, because it, and that's spokes, right? We have two spokes. The, at some point, we will need to worry about them. Um, that's a later problem. But, okay, I think that's all the cleanup I wanted to do. Um, yeah, next time we maybe we'll go go fight them because they are. Oh, the Avabren. That's probably a lot of it's probably like Vassal Score or something. I don't know. Fleets, pops, economy. Oh, it's diplomacy stuff. That's where they're getting the, the highway from. It's funny that I can see like where they're getting their diplo weight, but I don't know who it is. Um, right, so it's really the I'm interested in the Favarians versus the Clagians is kind of the interesting question. The Clagians have a lot more fleet, but a lot less tech. Hmm, An interesting choice. All right. Thank you for watching.